In a raffle, 21 tickets are sold. There are two prizes. What is the probability that someone who buys three raffle tickets, A, wins both prizes, B, does not win either prize, C, wins at least one prize? Okay, well, let's start with this, uh, this first one, A, and let's also note that we're, we're presuming here that uh, once one raffle ticket is drawn, that raffle ticket doesn't go back into the raffle. They're going to be two unique tickets that win each prize. So once a ticket has been drawn from the raffle after that, you know, to determine the first prize, that ticket stays out of the pot or the, or the, the hat or the bag when the next ticket is drawn. So this is a without replacement question. Also, we're going to be assuming that the raffle tickets are drawn randomly from whatever, whatever it's in, a hat or a bag or something like that. So here, the, the probability that we win both prizes, so this person, the probability that's, that this person wins both prizes, well, the way we figure out that is we figure out what the probability is that they win the first prize, and then we multiply that by the probability that they win the second prize, given that they've won the first prize. So there are 21 tickets that, that are in possible tickets that could be drawn out, and this person that we're considering has bought three, which means there are 21 tickets and there are three that could possibly be drawn whereby he wins the first time. So the probability that he wins, that the, the, the first ticket that's drawn, that, that he wins the raffle um, or the first prize is three over 21. And we need to multiply that by the second probability. That is that once he has won that first, prob that, that first uh, prize, what's the probability that his, one of his other tickets gets chosen for the second prize? Well, let's consider how many tickets are left in our bag or our hat uh, that the raffle tickets are being drawn out of. Well, one ticket has been drawn out, so there are now only 20 tickets that are left. So in our denominator, we're going to have 20. And in our numerator, how many tickets does he own out of those 20? Well, he only owns two now because one of his first, one of, one of, his, of his raffle tickets was already drawn the first time. So here in the numerator, we're going to have two. In other words, the probability that he wins both times is going to be the probability that he wins the first prize multiplied by the probability that he also wins the second prize given that he won the first prize. Okay, well 2 over 20, that's the same as saying 1 over 10, and 3 over 21, that's the same as saying 1 over 7, so we're going to get 1 over 7 times 1 over 10. So that's going to be multiplying through, that's going to be 1 over 70. So the probability he wins both prizes is 1 over 70. What about the probability that he does not win either prize? Well, that's the probability that he loses and then he loses. What's the probability that, he, that his raffle ticket is not drawn, the first one? Well, there are 18 tickets that could be drawn that aren't his because there are 21 tickets overall and, he, and three of them are his. So there are 18 tickets that could be drawn from the 21. That's the probability that he loses the first time. So the first ticket drawn is not his raffle ticket. Okay, once... Uh, once those uh, that, that first prize has been drawn, there are only going to be 20 tickets left for the second prize, when the second prize is going to be drawn. And of those, how many tickets are not his? Well, there are still three of his tickets left in there, so we're going to have 17 tickets that are not his that are in the pot. Okay, so we're going to have 18 over 21 times 17 over 20 is the probability that he loses both. That's that he does not win either prize. So 18 over 21, we can, if we divide both the numerator and the denominator by three, that's the common factor, we have six over seven times 17 over 20. And there's a common factor here of two, where we're, we've got six and 20 here, so the common factor is two, so this is going to reduce down to three over seven multiplied by 17 over 10. So here, three times 17, well, if we type that into a calculator, we get, we get 51, and it's 7 times 10, that's 70. So the probability that the, this person does not win either prize is 51 over 70. Okay, what about the probability he wins at least one prize? Well, the probability that at least one W, it's useful to think about the complement here, so the probability that he wins at least one prize, that's the same as, well, this is the complement of the event that he loses 
both prizes. In other words, the probability that he, lin he wins at least one prize is 1 minus the probability that he loses. This is because we can divide all the possible outcomes for this raffle into two different groups. One group is that he loses both times, or the other group is that he wins at least one time. Those two events, they cover the whole sample space here. Consequently, the probability wins at least once is that's equal to one minus the probability he loses both times. Okay, well, we've, we've, already, we've already figured out the probability of a loss and a loss. So this is going to be 1 minus 51 over 70. We can rewrite 1 as 70 over 70. We do that so that we get a common denominator, because that's what we do when we're adding and subtracting fractions. And 70 minus 51, that's 19. So the probability wins at least one prize is 19 over 70. And we're done.